at that. Hurricane Kathleen has become a disastrous natural phenomenon, bringing waves as high as 10 meters and causing unprecedented disruptions in the United Kingdom and Ireland. The strength of the storm has forced the cancellation of dozens of flights, along with nearly 34 sound households being disconnected from power supply. This natural disaster also set a record for temperatures, as Satur Day unexpectedly became the hottest day of the year, with temperatures reaching 20 degrees Celsius in Santon and Downham in Suffolk. However, shortly thereafter, the weather changed abruptly, and about 70 flights were unable to take off or land at UK airports before noon due to the strength of the wind. Inland. Inland. Additionally, the Met Office has issued a new 12-hour weather warning following Hurricane Kathleen. As strong winds are set to return and hit the west from the evening of April 8th through to the end of April 9th. Gusts will reach speeds of 40-50 maps and up to 60 or 70 maps along exposed coastlines particularly across Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. Overnight. Strong. Overnight. Strong. The southern, western, and northern areas of Devon, as well as Plymouth, will be affected. A yellow weather warning has been issued due to the risk of injury or danger to life. Large waves combined with high tides could cause some impacts along the coast and make driving conditions dangerous across the region. Whoa! Oh, fuck! It's come! Oh, fuck! Oh. On January 2, 2024, the countries of England and Wales faced an emergency situation due to a storm, Hank, the first storm of the year, 2024. This natural disaster brought heavy rain and strong winds, creating extreme weather phenomena and causing serious consequences. The aftermath of the storm, including widespread power outages, disruption of transport routes and flooding in many areas. Bridges and railways in the southern part of the country were heavily affected, with some places recording the strongest wind speeds in over three decades. A peak wind speed of 94 miles per hour was recorded in the Needles, Isle of Wight, and a strong gust of 71 miles per hour in Mumbleshead in southern Wales. Not only affecting coastal areas, this natural disaster also caused damage in the island areas, with the strongest winds reaching 81 miles per hour at Exeter Airport in Devon. In the Greenwich area, southeast London, a natural disaster related incident led to the collapse of a building wall, obstructing a street. Fortunately, no casualties were reported in this incident.
The natural disaster spread from west to east, causing major widespread disruptions in regions of Wales and England. Coastal areas, especially in southern England, witness continuously rising sea waves, with the waves tens of metres high constantly crashing against the shore, threatening serious harm to coastal infrastructure. The government issued warnings advising people to maintain a safe distance from the beach areas to avoid the risk of injury from large waves. Additionally, the Dartford Crossing Bridge was temporarily closed to ensure driver safety in the face of potential dangers posed by the strong winds. During this time, drivers need to be extremely vigilant of the risks from falling trees and driving conditions in harsh weather. Local authorities and transportation management agencies are actively working to assess and address the situations, aiming to minimize inconvenience and ensure the safety of the public. According to the report from the Energy Network Association, the organization responsible for collecting and synthesizing information from electricity suppliers, approximately 38,000 households had to endure Wednesday night without electricity due to the impact of the disaster. In addition, the flooding situation severely affected the road and rail transport systems. By 10 p.m., over 290 flood warnings and 360 flood alerts had been issued. The environmental agencies warn that many riverside areas are at risk of continued flooding at least until Thursday. In a timely action, the fire brigade deployed a life raft to rescue victims trapped in their cars amidst the floodwaters in Kenilworth early on Tuesday morning. Thousands of passengers face delays and train cancellations due to the impact of flooding and power outage related incidents. Train services from London Paddington to South Wales had to adjust their routes as an area between Swindon and Bristol Parkway was flooded. Meanwhile, the rail line between Centurion and Birmingham International was also heavily affected by the flooding. National Rail reported an electrical incident between London Paddington and Maidenhead leading to some tracks being blocked on Tuesday evening. Although the tracks were reported reopened, disruptions were expected to continue until the end of the working day with the possibility of trains being delayed or cancelled. Rail service providers advise passengers to avoid travel if not absolutely necessary due to the weather-related issues impacting the transportation network extensively. Amidst Wales being severely affected by extreme weather events, more than 34 properties in Booth Wells, Powys, were flooded. Facing this situation, the London Fire Brigade issued advice to residents on the necessity to securing outdoor items to prevent risks from strong winds. Additionally, people were warned to avoid taking shelter under trees and to be extremely cautious of flying debris while driving.
Storm Hank, rated as the eighth natural disaster event in just three months, is forecasted to be the last in the recent series of disasters, with the weather expected to stabilize but remain cold by the end of this week. The UK Met Office issued a yellow weather warning from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, advising people to stay informed and be ready to act if conditions worsen. This warning emphasizes the potential for significant damage to infrastructure and transport disruptions due to roof tiles being blown away, journeys taking longer than expected, and possibility of flight cancellations. Just in the first few days of 2024, numerous events and disasters have already occurred around the world. Could this be a sign that this year will be a challenging one for humanity? We are very eager to hear your thoughts in this matter. Please share your opinions in the comments section to join the discussion and find solutions. If you find this information useful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to not miss any notifications from us ensuring that you're always up to date with the unpredictable natural disasters globally. In August 2023, Chile faced one of the worst natural disasters in its history as a devastating flood swept through the country. This event was characterized by numerous significant incidents and impacts, raising an alarm about the terrifying power of nature and its particularly large potential to affect communities. The severe weather system began on August 19, 2023, bringing heavy rain and flooding to many areas, particularly in the central regions of Chile. The Mall River burst its banks, flooding surrounding cities while other rivers reached record high water levels. Over 30,000 people were forced to evacuate urgently from six different regions, highlighting the large scale of the crisis. The rising floodwaters submerged many cars, deeply immersing them in water. On some sloping roads, residents witnessed scenes of cars being swept away like small boats. The heavy rain also severely affected the power grid. Many areas were completely cut off from the electricity, making life for the residents more difficult than ever. It's noteworthy that this was the second major flood within just eight weeks, adding to the anguish of people and communities trying to recover from the previous disaster. The 
pain comes not only from the material damages, but also from the loss of spirit and hope. The residents now face a new challenge, like a heartbreaking test of nature on their patience and strength. Each flood serves as a painful reminder of nature's power and the call to action for us to protect our living environment. This Compañeros, aquí estamos. Tengan mucho cuidado aquí por los lugares de ancianos. Este, bueno, la casa. Wake up call, a warning from nature for us to act now to collectively preserve and protect our green planet. Please share your thoughts below so we can exchange ideas and find solutions together. Chile's rescue forces and emergency response teams conduct rescue operations in many affected areas where residents were living in homes that were lost. Human lives were sacrificed in this crisis with at least four people perishing and thousands left homeless. The survivors face the lack of shelter, the failure of infrastructure and daily challenges to rebuild their lives. The flooding combined with landslides intensified these difficulties, painting a harrowing picture of the devastation caused by natural disasters. The estimated damage caused by this flood is around 1.5 billion US dollars, a significant amount for a developing nation like Chile. Evacuating residents was fraught with difficulties due to the relentless heavy rainfall and the raging floodwaters, especially in deeply submerged areas. To address the situation, the Chilean government had to declare a state of disaster in the country's central region, acknowledging the scale of the emergency. Life will never be the same for the people in Chile after this heartbreaking flood. With over 800 homes affected, the economic damage was severe, and it is estimated that it will take at least two more years for the region to recover economically. However, from this pain, unity and strength can grow as communities come together to help support each other in rebuilding from the rubble and renewing hope for the future. In the list of natural disasters, hailstorms rank third in the terms of damage following earthquakes and tsunamis. On August 17, 2023, Argentina witnessed one of the most severe hailstorms ever recorded in the province of Buenos Aires.
Although the event lasted only about 30 minutes, it caused significant damage, estimated at 200 million US dollars. The hailstorm, some as large as 15 centimeters, had a devastating impact, destroying many structures, vehicles, and crops. The hailstorm not only caused property damage, but also resulted in a loss of life. One man was seriously injured when a hailstone struck his head, and many others suffered minor injuries due to the hail. Beginning around 1 a.m. local time, the hailstorm quickly spread across the province of Buenos Aires. The large size of hailstones forced many people to seek shelter indoors to preserve their lives. The hailstorm wreaked significant havoc in many areas of the province. Key buildings such as schools, hospitals and homes suffered severe damage. Various modes of transportation including cars, trucks and buses were also heavily affected. Farmers also suffered significant losses as crops were destroyed by the hail. Fields of wheat and corn and soybeans were submerged in a sea of hailstones and many fruit orchards did not escape the devastation. The Argentine government declared a state of emergency in the province of Buenos Aires to support relief efforts and to address the aftermath of this disaster. This heartbreaking event serves as a reminder of nature's unpredictable power and poses challenges for the community in their reconstruction and recovery process. Please leave your discussion comments below the video comment section. Thank you very much for your keen interest, follow up and enthusiastic support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For now, we say goodbye and look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Wishing everyone a warm day with your family.